Hey guys, I'm Christine and we are at Riviera Village. This is my favorite part of Redondo Beach and I live less than a mile from here before I got married. I was super curious to see how things looked after stores started to reopen. Here is one story about a small business owner here who's called this place her home away from home for 17 years. When two weeks ago they said that I was in the category that I that could open, I came running, you know? Every customer is like, I, I want to hug them, but I can't hug them. But, but I'm like, oh, I'm so happy that you're here. Since 1993, Krishenka Ceballos has poured her heart and soul into her clothing store, Papillon, located on the corner of South Catalina Avenue and Vista Del Mar. I'm a single girl. I have no children, but this is my child. I love clothing, beautiful clothing, well-made clothing, but most of all, my real passion is to help women look their best. She grew up around fashion and says she acquired a unique skill from a young age. I'm from Ecuador in South America, so my mom used to have a shop where we custom made clothing for our clients. I think that I learned to develop an eye for good cuts because I realized that I can see things that others don't. And I also used to do a little sewings here and there, putting buttons, doing hemmings, and <laughs> I don't know. So then I guess I learned to distinguish the different textures and I can see when it's a flattering cut or not just by seeing it on the hanger. Since reopening her small business after two months, however, her clientele has drastically changed. One of my fortes is work clothing, clothing for business women who travel, who are public speakers, they go to conferences, weddings, parties, in general special occasions, and all of that's been canceled. She's now learning to adjust to new norms, even ordering items specifically for sale racks. Yeah, that's right, because that's what's selling, and it's understandable. People have been coming and they look at the clothes, oh, this is so beautiful, but we, we have nowhere to go. So right now what people is really buying is casual things you know, t-shirts, jean jackets. Krishenka says her staff is still mostly at home. It's so slow at the moment. So we're trying to see how people behave. Are they going to start shopping again? With three months of rent due on June 1st, in addition to her monthly rent at home, she's trying to figure out how to make ends meet. Having a small business is 24-7. You never clock in and you clock out. There's so much behind what you just simply see. And we're hit by every corner. We survived the recession back in 2008 and at that time it was pretty depressing because so many small businesses closed their doors for good and so many stores in the village, in the Riviera Village, were empty. This is like nothing that any of us have experienced in our lifetime. Do you get emotional thinking about do your store possibly having to close? Or? I get more emotional about in Ecuador, the situation is so sad. Do you have family in Ecuador still? Yeah, my dad, friends, family. So I'm really sad about what's going on in the world at a global scale. She says prayer has become her main tool to overcome any discouragement. Sometimes I'm panicking and then what I do, I go to the back, I bend on my knees, and I pray, and I and I say the fruits of the Spirit, faith, joy, peace, mildness, kindness, goodness, self-control, patience. But when I say each of those words, I think about the meaning of it, and it's unbelievable. In a matter of like, I pray for two or five minutes, I come out all up renewed. That's what prayer does. I know that as long as we're faithful to God, God will be faithful to us. And that's my motto. It's bittersweet to meet shoppers stopping to browse. It's nice to be able to look and touch and hold things. It's awesome. <laughs> it makes you think of the trip that you missed out on this summer because of COVID. <laughs> Where were you supposed to go? Well, my daughter was supposed to go to Italy and Croatia. She's supposed to be there now. And I was going to Scotland and Ireland, so we both got canceled. It seems like everyone who's dropping by is also facing their own struggles. So I'm actually a flight attendant. Um, my friend is as well, yeah. both of us are. We have been greatly affected. Less flights, less people flying. Our hours have been cut. Fortunately, you know, we're still working, so that's good. I guess I'm hopeful that we'll all get through it together. During this time, as the world starts to reopen, why is it so important, especially for women, to feel confident? Because there is no other way. If we somehow um, let fear um, uh, overcome our being, then, then, then there's no hope. 
while quarantine before I opened up, I was dressing nice every day with clothing that I felt good about myself. For us women, if we look good, we feel good. She challenges women like myself to try something new and dare to step outside of our comfort zone as we venture out again after staying at home for so long. One thing that I have learned throughout the years in business is that women don't really realize their potential. So a lot of women dress the way that they think that they should dress or th the same old thing kind of like they all have their own particular style. However, I love to introduce them to something new but at the same time in a way that they're comfortable with what they're wearing or they're trying on. She hopes the day will come sooner than later when her boutique will once again be filled with women who are ready to look their best for their next big event. In Redondo Beach, I'm Christine Lee, Kimbap TV.